The market for DNA sequencing has expanded to such an extent that it's forecasted to be worth $24 billion by 2023. This genomic gold rush has seen the emergence of companies such as Derbyshire-based Revolution, which promises to dig out longer and purer DNA fragments from cells, giving researchers clearer information about how to read the building instructions written within. Donna Bernard has this report. A major breakthrough in biotechnology has taken place here at Revolution's Derby headquarters. Its FireMonkey product allows the mining of DNA with more of it left intact. This simple looking chemistry kit works with standard lab equipment to extract long fragments of DNA within an hour. We're very excited because Revolution sits at the entry point of the genomic gold rush as all DNA needs to be extracted from the cells before any sequencing is done, regardless of which sequencing platform is being used. DNA is easily identifiable from other cell matter by its size and weight. The classic way of extracting it is simply to spin it. The trouble is that inevitably you put stress on it and you break it. And what Revolution has done is to have discovered a chemistry which holds the molecule together while you spin it. The real difference with FireMonkey is that it manages to get a different result even though it uses the same techniques as the competition. Georgios came up with a way of extracting it uh, more gently so that he doesn't break it up so badly, still gets it out, doesn't break it up as badly. Um, so it's a bit like it's a bit like a spade digging out the DNA from the cell. It's just our spade's a bit bigger than the spades that everybody else has. FireMonkey is uh, the world's first spin column high molecular weight DNA extraction kit. Essentially it takes a very old process, that of spinning a sample through a column, to the next level. The global DNA sequencing market is expected to grow to $25 billion by 2025, particularly because of its vital role in developing treatment tailored to the individual. More accurate sequencing may also help tackle the growing resistance to antibiotics. If you use sequencing, you can sequence the bacteria and their plasmid gene constructs, and you can spot the genes that give you resistance to various antibiotics. Once you've spotted them, then you can choose the right antibiotic that isn't one of their resistant strains. It is becoming a very large market indeed. DNA is the software by which our bodies work. Uh, so understanding that software is going to enable us to be, uh, to be able to deal with ourselves, make ourselves well in a way that has never been possible in the past. So the next step for FireMonkey is that we're working on automation. Uh, we're doing that with our partner TCAN and Agliant. Um, so we've developed a 96-well plate, which means that the workload can be increased dramatically for laboratories. Gemma Language is the group leader at the Quadrum Institute, which hopes further development of FireMonkey will give them the means to test many more samples. The automation that's coming from Revolution, what we're looking for is to be able to prep hundreds of strains at a time. And then, you know, the scope for our research then increases quite dramatically that way. It's just the start of this genomics gold rush, but experts believe that eventually every species and everybody will probably be sequenced. Oh, I believe eventually every species will be sequenced, simply because there is an unknown amount of genes that could have useful properties that exist in the world that it's another frontier we've just got to explore it in the future we will treat ourselves as an individual the idea of a blockbuster drug which is spread out all over the world and everyone uses will become irrelevant